Oh, that's not good. We are immediately freezing. All right. There's a tunnel here. Get into the tunnel. This will let us gather our thoughts real quick. Where are we? We are at Mystery Lake. Which is not bad. It means we're near the hunter's cabin, which is actually exactly where I wanted to be. The only question is, is where am I in relation to the hunter's cabin? Why am I so cold? Oh. That is by far one of the worst loadouts I think you can get in a game. This is, uh, a little bit different than my normal sort of video. Not quite sure. I think our best bet is just to follow the train tracks. I believe there is a, there's a lodge up here somewhere. I just can't remember where. So I've been struggling for filler content for the channel for a little bit now. A lot of people said they would like to see just a playthrough of something. Something extended, something relaxed, something simple, something that doesn't require a lot of effort, and I agree. I tried a few different games. I tried, like, automation, uh, satisfactory and such like that. Those are a little bit more complex than I really want to deal with right now, especially automation. I know the long dark decently well. And I enjoy it. And I think we can make a long-running series out of it. Now, I did have a series going that I was live-streaming. But with all the new updates and the fact that I've got a new microphone and such, I figured it'd be best to just restart. But I do have some goals. There's a cabin down there. It's torn down, but it, it, you know what? It's better than nothing. We're getting way too cold way too quick. I'm currently playing on the Stalker difficulty, which is not the hardest difficulty. It's about, you know, middle of the road difficulty. I am, however, using the 24 hour grace period. I've tried this a few different times, and I've got my shit rocked by wolves multiple times now. And it's just, I don't want to put up with it anymore. I want to at least have a little bit of a start before they start popping up everywhere. So I think this is our best option. Now, this isn't great, but it's shelter. And there's firearms cleaning kit. And a book. Do we have gloves on? Yeah, we got better gloves on, actually. Let's see if we can start a fire. Don't have accelerant. Don't really have... much of an option though. Alright, well let's try our luck. I'd rather waste one of these sticks if this fails. That is a slight audio bug, by the way. I don't know what causes it. It happens all the time, though. Oh, perfect. Yeah, this isn't very good. It could be better. We don't have any water. So, we will make some water real quick. I do have another can I can make some more water in. We're sitting here. I don't have any food. Not matches. Some antibiotics. That's it. Pass the time. Read for about an hour. Just to let us warm up a little bit more.
take both these cans and let's get moving because that's not very good shelter. Weather has been my big killer over the last few attempts. That and wolves, which is why I'm giving myself the grace period. Oh, don't tell me we're this close to the, uh, lodge. We totally wore. Let's get inside. This is our home for the night. Although, hmm, I wouldn't mind making the fire lookout home. Mystery Lake is actually a decent spawn because it's in the middle of everything. Oh. Oh, that's, could be better. Also, if you hear that humming in the background, I apologize, that's my inverter. It's right underneath my bed, and I guess I could put some blankets in front of the opening. It's got plenty of airflow still. Try to mute that, but... I don't know. So this is a part of the new base building. And I'm going to use this just to kind of cheat a little bit. Make our way to a bed. I feel a lot more confident in this save. This is a pretty good start. I'm exactly where I want to be. I've got my morning coffee. Motherfucker. I just had to open my big mouth. Now we have no tinder. Oh, I need food. I wish your eyes would adjust to the interior. Perfect. All right. Let's actually look around now. That's decent. Surprised there's not a body here. It normally is. I'm not complaining too much. It does look like it's a nice, bright, sunny day. There we go. And the question is, is do I want to make this my base or not? Not much in here, actually, to be honest. It was a little bit underwhelming. Compared to the last few times I've been here. I'll take that. I think our best bet would probably be checking the cabins down by the lake. I do know the dam's not too far from here. I do not want to make the dam my base. I've done that so many times. It's honestly, during an electrical storm, half the place is a hazard. So, I'm going to avoid doing that this time. This place is just a little bit too big, in my opinion. All right. Let's try to get down to those houses by the lake. Like I said, I got a 24 hour grace period. I want to take full advantage of that as I can. There are some ice fishing huts. This would be another good reason to probably hang out in Mystery Lake for a while. I do want to do the Tales from the Far Territory storyline though but for that we got to get to the new area and get to the airport and get the radio which is not wise to do in early game because the ter the uh, airport region is super hostile we want to make sure that we can equip ourselves pretty decently before we do that it does look like two of the cabins are burnt down this one. I believe the cabins are randomized. Because I remember one time I did a save or started a save near Pleasant Valley, near the town in Pleasant Valley. And normally, typically, when you cross a bridge, there's never any cabins there, but last time I was there, there was one that I could enter. Didn't have much, but I could enter it. Normally they're burnt down, so I believe they're randomized. We may make the, uh... Firewatch Tower our home. I don't know. I haven't quite decided. I don't want a big base. I've learned that mistake a few times in a few different games. That big areas, they seem really cool until you have to try to fill them. And then it gets really obnoxious, because... This fly keeps bothering me. 
there's not much to fill them. Especially in a game like this. That's also really good. I don't see many cattail stalks. That's another thing I learned. Because I've been in plenty of struggles before. Uh, you can eat cattails in this game. When you find them. They're typically pretty common, but... There's a body over here somewhere. Right here. Nothing on him. I want that. Give me that. Wherever we go, I want that. That's good. Now there's two flies in here. Where did they come from? Uh, I'm gonna have to get one of those fly tapes or something like that. No more lantern fuel. I'm gonna take that and start marking these cabins that have been searched. Something that I think will be important is that we're gonna have to make a Travoy. Because we're gonna be moving around a lot of stuff if we want to make a decent base. And I have seen some people say that Coastal Highway is actually... Ooh. That's helpful. That Coastal Highway is actually probably the best place to set up a highway if you want to work with a trader. That's a possibility, but... I think whatever we make there is just going to be temporary. I guess I should probably look around the cabin, too, because there could be stuff up against the wall. Yeah, just like that. Hmm, not that helpful. Also not bad. Alright. Spend some time in here. Warm up a little bit. Nearly every community on the Great Bear... Comfort of this will give us good coverage for enabling two-way emergency transmissions from coast from the coast all the way to the far territory. So if you're near one of these locations or would like to volunteer for a shift monitoring the radios, please see the core office. And you're local about signing up. With tremors increasing, building a durable radio network could make all the difference when the big one hits. With gratitude, Jen Whitney, executive officer. I guess and that relates to the radio. Yeah, actually, plenty of books to read from. See, that would be nice to have on whatever we go to. It'd make staying here a little bit more tempting, but it's just such a big area. I don't know how I'd fill it in. We'll take a look at the fire tower. We may not choose the fire tower. It would give us a nice vantage point over everything, though. How about half a day left? We got about half stamina. Let's... Let's see if we can get to this today. I'll kind of decide after taking a quick peek at it if we want to stay there, make it home, or if not. There is still, again, the Hunter's Lodge here. Which is decent. I just have to make some markers in order to remember where it's at. I also can't remember if it's actually got a fireplace up there or not. It may not. That's probably going to be the make or break deal. If this ends up being a home base or not. I can't quite remember the way up. I know there's actually, like, a trail that you're supposed to follow in order to get up there. Don't believe this is it. There's some lichen. Grab this. It's light. It's literally 0 .01 kilograms. There's a bit of a hike to get to this. May not be the best. Mm, it 
Looks like we might be getting some harder weather here in a second. When we get up here, we're probably going to be stuck here for a second. Wind's starting to move. Sure where this is supposed to lead. There's a radio tower in this area. That is something we actually need to fix, I believe. Revolver ammunition. There is a fireplace. There's actually a decent fireplace in here. Hmm. This may be our home. And a can opener. Small arms handbook. No rifle, unfortunately. Typically one would spawn there. It's rare a little bit, but... And it does recognize this as a base. Which is kind of nice. Hmm. This may be home. Let's see if I can organize this a little bit. This is a lot. This layout is really kind of funky. It does feel a little bit unintuitive. There are some kind of weird oddities when you go to uh, place some things around. But I think we managed to make something at least somewhat decent. There's definitely space. I don't know if I'm going to make this my base or not because it's just... It's kind of a pain to get to. It's a bit of a pain in the ass to get around. Uh, we are probably going to hang out here for the night. I'm sure I can cover up some of these windows and make it feel a little bit more cozy, but... I really don't like the bunk bed. I'd like to get rid of the bunk bed, honestly. Can I... Yeah, I don't think I can... It takes me 30 minutes to destroy it. I'd rather have just a normal bed up here, if I could. Uh, which I'm sure I could. Uh, I don't know. I'll have to definitely think about this. Uh, but I think for now we are going to make it our home. Uh, and see what I can kind of manage. Uh, no, you cannot place things on a window. I think that kind of answers my question if I want to make this my home or not. I'd really like to cover the windows up a little bit. I know I could get curtains. But, I don't know. I want to put, like, posters up and whatnot. I don't want to have them just sitting down low. That looks weird. Decisions, decisions. Well, we are only on day two. We got a time to decide, but I think, for now, at least, this is going to be our base. Until we decide on something a little bit better. Uh, it does need more storage. Because this only holds 15 kilograms. Well, 
It is almost night, so let's get a fire started. I don't think there's any sticks or anything outside that I can gather. At least all the way up here. Oh, well, there might be. There wasn't a firebox like I was hoping for. I am kind of annoyed that this is not considered a vista. Unless, is this a vista? No. Because in my head, I'd imagine that, you know, I can map this out a little bit to see, or, you know, say what's around here. I do need to run over to that radio tower and see what it's going to take to fix that. If it requires a car battery, that's going to suck. Because there's a not. I think there's like one truck here in this entire region. And the chances of it having a battery are probably decently low. And B. Batteries are stupid heavy. I don't want to have to haul that thing all the way up there. Is this a vista? No. So I don't know what's considered a vista, honestly. So I would have figured this would have been a perfect vista. To map things out. Who knows? Let's... Read until it's too dark to read, then we'll start a fire. The one benefit is that there's no loading area between getting in and leaving. I can see what's outside. The, the hike up here is just a pain. So let's just sit and read for a little bit. I don't have a pistol, but... That's awesome. We are getting snowed in for tonight, but that's fine. I do have lamp oil. That really doesn't give us much more. See if we get lucky. 75%. Not a wildly low. Yeah, perfect. Every time we do that successfully, we have a better chance of us upgrading our skill. It's actually... I will say this is this is decently cozy. I actually I'm I like this. This is actually a really nice vibe. Ah, oh, I may have to make this my base. I'm loving this. Just got to get rid of the bunk bed. The bunk bed is the one thing that it's throwing me off. Anyways, let's place a can of tomato soup. We'll eat this, and then we'll use the can to make a thing of tea. That'll give us some better rest. This is not bad. We don't need this on us. This is really not bad. Like, it, I really like how cozy this feels now. I wasn't expecting this. Like, with the snow and the fire. I like this. Now, we do gotta be careful, because our... 
grace period is up. Um, well, I didn't sleep there as long as I had hoped. We might grab some curtains for the windows just to close them up a little bit. Kind of make this place feel a little bit smaller. And if I can, I would like to get a different bed up here. I don't know what the possibility of that's going to be, though. Because I think if I do this, yeah, the best I could do is destroy it. So I don't think there's a way to drag another bed up here. Eh, you know, this will do. I'd rather not. There is a cooking pot down there at the uh, lodge, along with some posters and whatnot that I'd like to keep. I think I do want to do. Chris and this. Oh, there was a thing that let you say base. Oh, we'll use this one. Looks like a tent. Wow, we are super cold already. We may not be out for very long, actually. We may have to run back upstairs and... Warm back up. Holy shit, yeah, look at that. I can physically see it moving. I don't think this is going to be possible. I think it's better off to wait for the weather to clear up. It's still cold. Well, hmm. I'm at the very least, I'm gonna need firewood. Because I'm gonna have to make some more water here soon. Let's get down to the lodge at the very least. It's not too far of a walk. And then we can gather some things to bring back up there anyways. Like curtains and whatnot. Get pitched up there a little bit. Now I do gotta be careful, because our grace period is up, so wolves and whatnot are now in the area. I don't hear anything, but it is entirely boss. I've been pretty unlucky in the last few saves, so... And I knew, do know that the previously, before the new update had a lot of presence in this area, but with the rebalance of everything, they may not have about or they may not have a presence anymore. Something I do also want to do Trying to mark out where we need to go. There it is. Ooh, is that one right there? No, that's a deer. Go through in a lot of spray paint, but that's fine. I know where there's two other cans. We got another can up there. And there's another can. Oh, I see him off in the distance. There is a large presence in this area. Oh! There they are. Oh, shit. Man! I don't have anything to scare him off. Okay, they were going after a thing.
Oh, God! Deserved. That is the first time I've ever sprained my ankle. There's plenty of stuff over here that I can use to fix that, though. I just gotta get over here. Oh my god, dude, the spawn rate is so ridiculous now. I really don't like this update. With the new wolf spawn rate. A lot of people were complaining that there's a lack of wolves in their saves, but I have gotten nothing but wolves. See, what am I supposed to do? Like, what is my fucking defense here? I've got no flare gun, no revolver. I'm gonna have to get in here and make a torch. That was the first time I've ever sprained my ankle in this game. They ain't fucking joking about it. Yeah, apparently I must have broke a decent line of sight out of from them. So I don't see them anymore now. Okay. Get some, uh... Get this taken care of. Uh, apparently cannot take the curtains. Take that, but I cannot take the curtains. Ah, I hate that. Can I make new curtains? Apparently I never grabbed this. read that a million times. I'll take some of these. I'm not sure what storage I can take. If there's any storage I can take. I may not be able to grab anything. Given that the only thing I seem I can take is wall decorations, and that's it. Like, I, got, I doubt I could take this. No. Can I take this? No. It's a little bit more limited than I thought it would be. Can't even take that. So we really need those tools from what I'm gathering. Take the little bit that we got. Can I take that? Can't take that. Well, that won't stop making that noise. Stop it! Stop it! God. What have I done? This is really broken. Okay, hold on. I gotta, I gotta fucking...
Thank God, sweet silence. Still can't take curtains. Man, that kind of sucks. Like, the, that's the one thing I would really want to take is curtains. That's kind of one of the reasons why I came over here is to grab the curtains. That's what I really wanted. Hopefully the wolves aren't going to cause me any more issues. Let's get up here and unload what we can. And then I guess we'll try to make our way to the... Uh, the dam. If possible. It's sitting right there where I need to go. I guess I'll see if there's another way around. I gotta head back to base anyways, so... We'll gather sticks as we go. Should leave me alone, now that I got a torch out. He's got himself dinner. And this is another thing that worries me. We're gonna have to make some uh, crampons. Given we've sprained our ankle once now, I really don't want to risk that again. I'm sure there's another way down from here. At least uh, some other safe route. Can't be the only way up. Don't want to risk that, because that will most definitely kill us. There might be an alternative route right here. Nope. Oh, what's over here? What the hell? The airplane wing here for some reason. Can't walk up it. Actually, there's a hole. Oh my god, there's a wrecked plane here! I didn't even see this! I can't get up this. Am I supposed to be able to get up that? I'm assuming so, it just doesn't seem to really work. I've never seen this before. I'm glad I took a detour then. Plane killers. Nothing really too note in here though. This really nothing really groundbreaking, unfortunately. Huh. Crazy. I've never noticed this here. Unfortunately, nothing really of importance. The wolves are extremely fucking active. I don't know what that's about. Keep the bedroll on us. I thought I heard the beginnings of a... You hear the beginnings of a storm. I mean, electrical storm tonight.
Interesting. Alright, well, let's see what we can get back to what we're doing. Uh, potatoes I'd like to put away somewhere. I really wish I could have brought, like, a small to storage tote with me back. I could probably grab those plastic containers. Those cannot be something you... you got to be able to bring those, right? Those are light enough. We got a few different things of salt. I'm gonna put these damn stacks of paper in here. Tired of them being everywhere. We are running out of matches. actually been around when these first start. I normally wake up to them. I don't like the vibe it's bringing. I kind of wish I brought those Christmas lights. I wonder if those would also kick off. These lights are going to kick on, but they may not. Well, if it, if it hit, this radio would turn on. Just have to see, I guess. That was a wall decoration. Kind of a glitchy, too. Oh, it's in the wall. Man. Oh, the lights did turn on. Ooh. You can kind of cheese it. Saw a, saw a spot. I saw her. Yeah. That's pretty. Now, yeah, these have to be placed down low. Kind of sucks. I think that's a good argument not to use this place, honestly. All right. This looks, you know, a little bit. Ooh, why don't I think of this? Oh, because I can't pick them up. Very pretty out here right now. It's also really dangerous to go out. Those wolves are gonna be even more active. Well, as nice as this place would be, considering that I can't really put up anything on the wall unless it's small like that and be limited to only just that space up there. It looks really cozy when it's snowing and whatnot, but it's just I don't really want to use it like this. So, I think we're going to not use this place as a permanent base, but it will be a temporary base for a little bit. Uh, I'm not going to worry about bringing these posters with when I do leave, along with the rug. Uh, but I am going to take the Dreamcatcher, because, well, I feel like that is something we can bring along with us. I think on that note, let's get a fire started. Uh, if we can. May not have very good luck with it. I didn't bring any books with me. I didn't think of it. Sorry, luck though. Let's 
sweet. Been really lucky with the uh, fires as of late. You know, knock on wood. Throw that in there. I don't think we need to quite use the uh, fire log yet. We'll keep it on hand just in case. Radio is playing music. I heard music a little bit. That's awesome. Okay. How are we doing on water? Probably use a little bit of water. As far as cooking goes, let's cook a let's cook a few potatoes. Well, we may have to put in the fire log. Hopefully we wake up and it's clear. Perfect. Drink some water. Not that much. Your granola bar. Let's take the stock. We got two broth, one can of soup, three potatoes. Actually, I think I got another potato in my inventory I can leave here. No, I do not. I cooked them all. So I don't have any food with me to take to the road, but... Like I said, I'm hoping I find some stuff while I'm out and about. It is very cold out. But it's clear, or at least clear-ish. I'm hoping the weather stays clear for the day. I'm hoping wolves aren't going to be much of an issue. I'd like to check the uh, train wreck down here, see if we can make our way to the dam. Sure enough, you can see the plane crash. I don't know how I've never noticed that. Oh, never mind. There he is. I don't know if there's going to be a good way around him, honestly. That's my current problem. Is it's just... There's only one way through this valley. I mean, I could make my way down this way, but it's probably gonna hurt. Shh. Not very optimal. Oh. We don't have that many options. Here we go. This isn't bad. Okay, that was that was a lot better than I was hoping for. Take a look around this. Do something useful. No, well, maybe not. You can only get in one of these. And all there is is a couple of casing or a couple of rounds. There's a flare. That I can use. Other than that, that was pretty much pointless. And I'm pretty cold again now. Hopefully we're left alone, relatively. Hoping the weather doesn't pick up. It does look like it wants to, though. Yeah, it's already starting to get a little bit more windy.
This isn't very good. Uh, should have probably stayed inside for today. Doesn't matter now, though. We're already out and about. I don't know how warm this is going to be. Not very warm. In fact, not warm at all. There's nothing here. Just keep moving. this. I do see the dam up ahead. I think that's our big spot where we want to go. Doesn't look to be thinking. Nothing in here. Off the hood. There is a battery. So if we need a battery to repair that one radio tower, we can use that. Hang on here for a second. Fucking beans. More lantern fuel. Grape soda. Decent. Cannot take that. Please tell me I can take the plastic tote. Can't. That's so stupid. There's another book that we could be studying. I think we're gonna have to make some snares and whatnot. Start catching some rabbits. Because our food supply is gonna start dwindling here soon. It is super duper cold out. Book we can burn. Not important. Okay. Use that to or fix some stuff up. Food. I'll take food. Actually, it's some decent stuff here. Make a wrapping for her head because I have yet to find another hat. We're finding a decent amount of food though. So I guess that's good. Holy shit! Yeah, the weather really moved in. Holy fuck. Get to the dam. That really moved in. Now, the biggest problem I have right now is that I don't have a good source of light. Actually, that's a lot. I can use that uh, flare that I found earlier. But I really need to find a lantern. That's going to be of utmost importance. And take the briefcase. If I could take the briefcase, ah, why would you not let me? T I could. It's literally got a handle on it. God, that's so obnoxious. I can take a time clock. Why not, right? to open. Why 
lantern fuel. Don't have a lantern though. There's some tools up there. We can take that with, that'd be handy. Probably gonna be camping out here today. Oh, we're getting too tired. Oh yeah, we're really tired. Need to find at least another source of light before I can... I don't think it's gonna happen though. Sometimes there's flares in those, kind of like emergency flares and whatnot. Take it a quick breeze through. Oh, thank God. That means I could at least sleep a little bit and then have another light source when I wake up. Do you have any lights on you, buddy? Got painkillers. You're always down here. I don't even think you're random. I think you're just meant to be here every single time. Sleep for four hours. Probably gonna be thirsty when we wake up. I didn't think about that. Okay, we got a ton of soda. We're gonna burn through the soda real quick. I just don't think there's any shot of us finding one in here. Still storming after four hours. Film, no camera. I don't know where you find the camera in this. I don't know if it's got set spawns or if you can just find it randomly. I'm wasting my fucking flare doing this. Pointless. I'm surprised I haven't found matches. Normally I've got matches leaking out of my ears when I'm playing this. Not today, I guess. Doing too hot, though. Okay, that's pretty good. So this one's about to burn out. Yep. Thank you. 
What's the point of this? Nothing. Nothing over here this time. It's so dark, I just can't see anything. We don't want to have to go to the other side. Gotta try our luck. Oh, absolutely. That's what we needed. There is a door here we do not want to go through because I don't believe you can go back in once you go through it. Storm Lantern's a good find. That's also a great find. Just in, just in case. I don't think it really matters. not playing with music so I can add in my own music later and so all of the sounds are really starting to set me off a little bit. Because normally the music will queue up if there's something after you but without it I don't actually know. And I know there's nothing usually in these buildings. Typically. Doesn't put me any less on edge. I can't even begin to describe how pissed I am that I can't take the plastic containers with me. Those would be so handy to have. I'm not quite sure what the reasoning is behind that. I think it's just, I think that's such a poor decision not to allow people to take at least briefcases or something like that. Maybe if we get that, uh, get to the other cabin. I think there's a decent chance of a rifle spawning there, which will change the tide of a lot. Another wilderness kitchen. Don't need that, we got plenty. Stale is still edible. Thank God! That's something we really needed. Oh, yeah. I also want that. Alright, well. Let me see about refilling this real quick. Got a ton of fuel on us. Requires memento key. Anything we may have missed, a little bit easier to see, like matches. I'm just genuinely, genuinely surprised. Because again, matches are usually the one of those things I don't ever struggle to find. Oh, there we go. Where will be handy? Scaring stuff off. This is the door we don't want to go through. So we may not be able to get back in if we do. Wait, not yet. Oh, they did it again. I'm not sure what causes that. That's... Because I've seen that happen in another area. Uh, whenever you start using the... Zone customization. That tends to happen for some reason. But we got a little bit more that we can do. Because if I'm sleeping, I'm sleeping for a minute. Let's 
Another can of spray paint. <gasps> oh, that's beautiful. Just the little things are hidden around. Make huge impacts. I'm glad we came back that way, because if I had missed that, found out about it later, I'd have been so mad. We found a decent amount of food. We found a light source. We found a uh, fire starter and a rifle. I consider this a success. Could it have been a little bit more successful? Yeah, probably, but given the circumstances, I don't think we actually did too bad coming over here. Got plenty of food to last us the next few days. Okay. Oh, we could take back that. Actually, we got a bonus. Well fed. Perfect, actually. That, that, that means I can take back even more. Might give me enough incentive to stop by the logging camp. It is very cold once again. I hear walking. not find out what it is. Why did I do that? I fucking chew a fly away. Yep. Exactly what I expected. Okay. He's already lost interest in me. Nope, no, it, no he is not. Just keep backtracking. As long as I got the flare. Of course, when I hit the space bar, fucking. This is getting really close. I might have to take a pot shot at him. Oh, he lost inches. Okay, thank God. Uh, we're here. Let's take a quick detour. Let's see if we can find something interesting here at the logging camp. Hopefully there's not any wolves here either. I heard pigeons, that's why I was like, maybe it's wolves, but maybe it's just the birds? What day are we on? We are on day five. This is the point where the cougar might spawn. So that is another thing we gotta keep our eye out for. Kills, claw marks, such like that. I do remember reading something. You can live peacefully with the cougar. You just gotta respect its territory. And I have no intention of encroaching on its territory. Let's look around, see what we find. We find wood. Of course, grabbing whatever food we can. Pants might be nice. I don't think I got a second layer of pants. No, I do not. Oh, 
Can I take the backpack at least? No, I cannot. God, that's so obnoxious. I think that's like the one thing that's going to piss me off throughout this entire playthrough is that I'm going to have to build all of my storage. I can't grab plastic coats. I can't grab backpacks. I can't grab anything. <gasps> Fuck me. That just scared the brakes off of me. I can break that down for a... Uh... It's fuel. Way to scare the shit out of me, buddy. Get one more to check. Then we'll probably start making our way back to our home. Get some stuff organized. There's a flashlight. <gasps> Thank God. Even better. We're going to be a little bit over encumbered, but honestly, that is fine by me in order to get those. Oh, it's going to be a decent walk back. I'll just to let you guys skip to where when we get back, as long as nothing happens along the way. Actually, it'd be better to try to go this way. Hmm. No, I think it was a bad idea to come this way. <gasps> it was most definitely a bad idea to come this way. Can I get up this way? If I can get up this way, that'd be huge. Oh, I think I can. Risk spraying, but and there's another way up. Honestly, that's all that really matters to me is because I don't want to have to try to risk going around the wolves over here. Direction. Although they may be gone. I don't know. I might have to look up a map of Mystery Lake. Since I have no idea where the vantage points are. And there's maps in the, uh... In the lodge. I don't know why that won't let me use that. It seems a little unintuitive. Because, I mean, you could see the map on the shelf. Why would I not pick that up and use it? Put the rifle up for a little bit. Because I'd like to sit and repair it before I start using it. I don't know how much rifle ammunition I actually have on me either. I only got about 10 rounds up here, which is not a lot. I mean, it's decent, but it's not something I really want to play with at the moment. Home sweet home. Okay. Take a bit of a gander, see what we got. The film, we don't need the film on us. Film can go in here. We have not come across any sort of... Can of gunpowder can go in there. Actually, can of gunpowder I can set up somewhere. Sewing kit can go in here. Revolver ammunition can go in there. Yeah, we only got four rounds of rifle ammunition. That's not even remote close to what I thought I had. Put that in the rifle, I guess. that here. Got some stuff I could put in the first aid cabinet. Got matches. That's huge. This is all really good stuff. 
do need a little bit more fuel, but now that I've got a hatchet, I can go out and get fuel. Tons of Kansas stuff. Tools. Cloth. We'll put all the cloth in here. Drop the tools. Put the tools up. Load this up a little bit more. And then we'll place it. I got a rifle rack sitting right there. Perfect. I didn't even think of that. Beautiful. Just beautiful. I'm really liking it in here now. Even though I said I don't plan on staying here. It's all coming together. Got tons of lantern fuel. Tons of it. Dropped all the canned goods. Dropped the coffee. All that stuff we can store away. On that note, I think we need some firewood. So I think we'll go out and get some of that. Um, really nothing else of no note. This is coming out pretty cozy like what time of the day is it i got a little bit of time i think yeah let's go out drink some sodas real quick get those out of my inventory and i'll lighten up the load even a little bit more go out and get some firewood for tonight let's see things are going pretty well for us last few attempts very bad starts. I'd say this is a pretty good start. We've got a rifle. We don't have a lot of ammunition, but we could pick up some more in other areas. Mystery Lake's usually not full of loot. I don't think we're doing decently well. Oh, I think that's our hickory. Go get that real quick. <gasps> Let's not go get that real quick. We are getting a lot more active. I want that so fucking bad though. So I'd love to make a Javoy. Come back tomorrow. We may spend tomorrow just trying to get our things squared away. Sharpen our knives, sharpen our axe. Clean up the rifle. Then day seven we'll go out. Let me try to get those hickory. I believe that's what that is. In order to make the Travoy. Because that'll make looting a lot easier. And when we decide to move from this area, we can bring everything with. A 
Luckily, it does seem like we're doing pretty decent with our gear. We're warming up. Oh, I do kind of regret wasting this flare, though. We might be able to make some uh, curtains for the windows. I don't think it's weird how the door opens that way instead of that way, but whatever. fire started actually Let's see if I can use this lit flare uh, this is burnt out yoink don't know where that's going refuel this drop that are looking up, honestly. Let's go ahead and make ourselves a tin of coffee. And... It's pork and beans. This will wake us up a little bit. Do some studying. So I think we're almost done with this book. Yeah, we have one hour left on this book. That should get us to level two, so that way we can make some bread and whatnot. Right? Well, maybe not. Not yet. That'll be the book that we start reading this week. There's also that. And then this book, probably after that, because I would like to use up some of this flour and salt and whatnot. Drink soda. I think we might leave some of the water here. We could drop some of it. Drop two liters of water. Oh my god, it comes out as water bottles. Never mind. That's a pain in the ass. Just drink it. I'm gonna cook some coffee. That'll be ready for the morning. I'm gonna sleep six hours. Another morning. It's extremely cold out. It's kind of windy. So let's sit down. Let's take a stock of our tools right now. Knife is pretty good. Hatch is pretty good. Can opener. Don't need this on us. I can't put that there, but... Leave that... Leave that stuff just sitting there. Um, one half, I kind of want to get through this book so that we cook up some of that bread. 
Uh, but on the other half, I kind of really desperately want to find that cabin and go look it over, see if there's anything interesting there. And we may move base there. Now, I do want to get those maples that we saw down there at the bottom. So, depending on what the weather looks like, because we'll probably hang out here for just a minute and kind of go through our gear and see if anything needs to be fixed up and corrected. Uh, we may move down and look for it. So, sure enough, uh, the area that we want to go to is back towards where we spawned in. Uh by that set of train tracks. And then we'll go east and follow a trail along the mountainside to where the cabin is. And there's also a cave that will lead us to Mountain Town, which might be another area we want to go to. I don't quite want to leave this area just yet uh, because it has been handy to us. But we may have to start heading that way uh, here soon. Now let's take a look. I don't think there's anything here I want to leave. We can get to the trapper's cabin. We won't need the bedroll, so I'm going to leave the bedroll here. Just for... Just for today. Let's leave that up there. Uh, along with the can opener... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave that can opener here. I'm going to bring the can of spray paint, and I'm going to bring the lantern, just in case. Oh, I don't want to bring the rifle with me, to, uh, honestly, but I may just have to. Wilderness Kitchen. I believe this one's the one we need to burn off. I think we've already... Yeah, we've researched that one. So we need to burn that one. We got this one that needs to be researched. We got three hours left on that. And then that will be ready for us when we get back. Got plenty of supplies... Got plenty of water, some dry foods that we can take with us. I think other than that, pretty good. Of course, goal, find some more matches, because we are kind of low on matches. Food, just to get us through the next couple of days before I finally decide that this area may not be worth it anymore. But we do, we do got to kill a deer, so we probably should take this with. And I think let's head out. I'm hoping that there's stuff there to move. Oh, fuck. That's really not good. He's super close now. Might have to take my other route. Take it nice and slow. Oh, I could harvest this deer real quick. Ravaged old carcass. Let's do this real quick. The weather's picking up. That's not good. That's really not good. Come on, hurry up, buddy. That's handy. I didn't notice that before. Is that a wolf? Yes, it is. There's two of them. I hit him. I may have hit him. I don't know. Oh, I just slashed the shit out of him. All I did was tear some clothing. It's 
running off. We gotta get inside. Before he doubles back. These things need to sit inside for a little bit here anyways. Got some torn clothing, but that's easy to fix. I got sewing kits and I got cloth. It's a lot better than it could have been. Ragged. It's probably this. I can fix that. That's not that bad. I don't have a sewing kit on me here, though. But I can at least work with that. Okay. We'll let these here for a little bit. Here, we'll come back. In a few days, to double check on this to see how this is going. Well, I didn't see you could take these lights. I kind of want to take them just to see. How much are those? Quarter of a kilogram. It's not bad. I don't know if I could use this rack to hang stuff. If I can, that would be huge, actually. Why not test it? No. That would have been cool, though. Actually, I kind of like that rug more. Oh, they are... Super expensive on weight, though. So is the damn lamp. Fuck that. I don't want that that bad. How heavy are you? You're also two kilograms. Uh, you'd be cool, but not that cool. I may come back for you. I am glad I left this stuff here. Oh, my... Whiteboard's falling off the fucking wall. Oh, this Velcro is so trash. Don't get that 3M Velcro stuff. It just... It sucks so bad. Like, all it's got to do is hold up some towels on the wall behind a whiteboard. I've got four points on there, but it just doesn't hold. I think it might be safe to go out now. Didn't waste two rounds of ammunition. Not my proudest moment. It was just too risky. I'm glad that all we got away with was some torn clothing. That could be fixed. It could have been so much worse. those other cabins. I'm glad I got that out of the way also. There's a lot of wolves around here. They at least killed one. Back where it all began. into any visitors along the way. Okay, that's a deer. The cougar is also, at this point, in the world. 
There hasn't been any signs. I'm hoping it stays that way. He may not be in this region. But he or she is definitely out in the world now. We're well past the point. Which means we gotta keep our eye open for scratch marks on trees, bodies, and whatnot. That's really good for starting fires. Take that. Honestly, that's what makes me the most nervous. So I'm going to hear him and I'm not going to be able to see him. For some reason, something's got me on edge. I don't know. This is going... I mean, the attack was pretty close. There it is. Other than that, it's been relatively quiet, and I don't like that. I don't see much going on over here. Take stock of what's going on. This was where I was wanting to make home. And considering it's so close to Mountain Town, I may still make it home. Like, I like our little Firewatch Tower, don't get me wrong, but... I think you just got so many more benefits. Seems a little bit easier to get to, also. Side. Probably gonna be here for tonight. Some more lantern fuel, and there is another rifle. Knife, 89%, go over ammunition. You're in pretty poor shape, I may not bother even taking you. kit or film but no camera that's pretty nice I'll just take that Seven. Please be a camera in here. I would just like a camera, honestly. I think that'd be neat. Oops, syrup. That was not fucking worth it. Jesus. That was horrible. Well, do I want to make this home? Oh, I kind of don't. I'm looking around. I'm kind of disappointed by everything. 
I feel like this could have been a lot more handy and helpful. Well, this definitely bites. It was not nearly as successful coming here as I once thought it would be. Spend some time cleaning this up. I really don't think this was worth my time. Oh, there's some accelerant. Nice. I don't know how I missed that. Four kilograms. Is there anything in this? No. Not even worth breaking down, to be honest. For somebody else, we've got ours, they can have theirs. I'm liking the condition of mine a lot better than theirs. You know, it's supposedly a little bit more fragile. I'm wondering where I'd find the camera. There's the cave. Let me mark this. That's where we want to go to leave. Go to Mountain Town. Might run in here real quick. Might be some coal and whatnot. Which we could use. I think there was something stalking me. Pretty sure I've been in here before. On a different save. I just didn't know where it led, so I was afraid to poke through here. Maybe not. Doesn't look familiar. Well, some firewood. May not be any coal in here. Lunch soda. There we go. Body. Yep, we were being tracked. We're gonna go this way. It's a little bit out of the way. I'm not quite sure where it's gonna lead us, but... I do want to avoid a confrontation. If possible. This led in the direction I was hoping. Oh, I might get myself hurt here. Not liking this. Yep, there it is. Shit. Sprained wrist? How the fuck did I sprain my wrist? Fell. Well, that's not very good either way. I'm gonna take it easy here. Let's 
just another knife. I need better than what I've got now. Here we go. This is a path that we wanted to take, actually. This is perfect. Lovely. And it looks like the deer have come back, which is good. I'll get up here and make some bandages, fix up my wrist. So two things I do want to find at some point. I'm going to guess I'm not going to find them here. At least not in this region. I want to find woodworking tools and I want to find the camera. I've got tons and tons of film, but no camera. Woodworking tools will allow me to expand the base a lot, uh, storage-wise, and just furniture-wise. I can get rid of, like, that bunk bed if I wanted to. Like I said, I don't think I'm going to make this a permanent base. I think we're going to leave this area. Well, shit, I don't know. My biggest problem is, is I can't hang anything on the walls here. That was kind of the one thing I really want out of the base, is to be able to hang things on the wall. If I can't do that here, what's the point? I do still have the lights. We'll put the lights up. Hopefully I can fit them all around. We may go down and pick up the rug, bring it back. Because the rug we got in there now is... This is kind of dinky. I, I would really like to make some curtains. If possible. Home sweet home. Alright. First of all, we got some more. There goes my fucking thing. God, that's so stupid. Two of the... One was peeling off, the other one was halfway peeled off. This is so cheap and chintzy. We're, uh, level two. With our cooking now. Which is really nice. We read that more, we'll probably get up to level 3. But now we can make things like bread and whatnot, which is huge. Got some accelerant. We got a bunch of coal. Which is good. We burned this stick off pretty quickly, honestly. I mean, we've got plenty of food to hold us over for a little bit longer, but we need to get the Travoy done. So, let me take a look. After air drying indoors for six days. Okay, well, we'll leave this here for a little bit. So we're going to be here six more days in order to... Uh move all of my stuff all at the same time. If you get down on the books, it should be fine. If you want to bring some of this stuff along. But let's, if we're going to be in here for six more days, let's spruce it up a little bit. Let's, let's hang the lights up.
Oh, I can't do anything with them. Damn. Seems to be really picky about where you can place some of this stuff. Well, that sucks. I'll put that away. Is our wrist healed at all? Mm, no, not yet. And we'll sit and read while that heals. We could burn another book. That's more fuel. Let's just sit and read this the rest of the way, I guess. Not healthy enough to focus on research. You were such a big crybaby. Sleep for an hour then. You mean to tell me you can't read with one fucking hand? I put you on painkillers, dude. Oh, I gotta read. Sleep for two more hours. A little snowy out. That's fine. Should be good now. We're gonna be a little bit restless, unfortunately. But I'm gonna read the rest of this book so that way we can burn it off. And then we'll focus on the uh, hunting book for the next few days. That's more fuel. And a little bit more proficient with cooking. We can make some bread and whatnot. And so that means we, we should be decent for uh, food over the next few days. Especially since we're going to be here for six days. Kind of sucks I can't put the lights up in here, but I guess I understand. It's really tight and compact in here. Can't really do much. Let's drop some things that we don't need. Drop that. Got tons of fuel right now. Uh, take this. Reload this. else we can do. We'll come back. Like I said, we got six days here. Still got the deer hide that needs to be cured. Then we'll have to run down and make the chipoy. Now once I think that happens, I think we're going to make our way towards the cave. Move on to Mountain Town. Uh, if possible. We may not be able to move. I didn't even think of that. If we get there, we got to climb up, I think. Maybe? I don't know. There might be a way around. I'll have to think about it. Kind of look it over. But, and if that's the case, we may not be able to bring our Chavoy. Which means it's probably going to be better. Man, I don't want to go to Puck in Pleasant Valley. I always end up in Pleasant Valley. Every single day I end up in Pleasant Valley. I'm tired of it. <sighs> I guess we make our way to Coastal Highway. I think it would be better to go that way. I'm tired of going to Pleasant Valley. We gotta go through the dam at that point. We would there'd be no point of return. We still need to fix up the other radio tower. Don't got much time left in today. 
So, I'm going to call it there for this episode. I think we've actually got a decent start. This is the first save where I've got, you know, a relatively good start. Typically, I've done this... I've attempted this probably three or four times now. Well, actually, got to be more than that. Because there's a bunch of times where I just looked at the area that I started in and said, no, not a chance. Because uh, when you hit random start, it doesn't feel very random. Like, a few times I got put in Pleasant Valley, which isn't a bad start, but I didn't want to start in Pleasant Valley because I always seem to end up there. Then the other times it put me in the new DLC area, which is not a place you want to be at the beginning of the game. There's just not a lot there to work with, especially once you go to the airport. There's a lot of resources, but the weather is always bad. And so it's something you want to prepare for if you head there. And given... Given how you have to jump a gap, I think, to get across. I don't know if you can even bring a Travoy into that area. Now, I do believe that there's a better backpack in Ash Canyon, which might be in the direction we want to head at some point. We'll probably head that direction from Coastal Highway, through Pleasant Valley, through Timberwolf Mountain, into Ash Canyon, then probably head up to Black Rock. But that's going to be far from now. Desolation Point? I think there's something in Desolation Point that we do want to grab, uh, narrative-wise. I'm not quite sure, but... It'll be something I have to look at. For some reason, there's a spot here. If I stand kind of odd on this rug, yeah, I get a sprain risk. If I sprain my fucking ankle off of this rug, I'm going to be so pissed. I say this is a good start. So until next time.